This pile of awesomeness that you see behind me is a pile of my favorite cars that I've gotten from Amazon. I'll show you the car, the things I do, and the things I don't like about it, along with what could be improved. And then in the description of this video, I have a link to that car and a link to any other videos I've got on. I pack my videos with quite a bit of information, so they should be very helpful to Just you. Just use the number right here on your screen to help correspond with that car down in the description. I'll show you some of the higher end stuff at the end of the video, in case you're interested in those. What is that? Oh, All right, we're gonna start with the Rolarlo. The high-end Rolarlos are actually some of the fastest budget RC cars that are around. This dude hit around 35, 36 miles an hour on the stock 2S battery. It has a separate receiver and adjustable motor mount, a fan on the ESC, a hinged body for easy, you know, access, oil-filled shocks, and just really overall great performance. But if you're looking for something a little more speed buggy, they also have that option for you. This one's got a blown out tire. I kind of put it through some stuff. Oh yeah, and this guy actually reached 40 miles an hour. All right, I'm not gonna talk much about this because I probably got over 10 videos but on it. But just know that it's a really awesome car. It's a 16th scale. It's brushless, has oil-filled shocks. There is also a newer version of that called the 16890A, and it is very similar. Actually comes with an extra set of paddle tires in the box, so I'll just link that below for you to check out as well. I don't have one. Here's another one I'm not gonna talk much about because I've got several videos on it as well. It's similar to this, but it is faster. It flips better, but it doesn't handle as well that's the biggest part i do believe that one of the weak points of this car is the plastics they just don't flex as easy as some of the other brands and in my opinion dealing with this battery bracket is less than desirable they do i'll, I'll link a fix to that down below now you won't find this exact body style on amazon they use this one here which is the same car but in my opinion a much cooler body anyway next we've <laughs> Well, that's a wheelbarrow, not a wagon. Anyway, next up is the Tachyon. High speed car from DRC. This one has a brushless motor. And is actually 3S capable. Even comes with 3S battery. Well, hello there. Dude, get out of the shot. Hold on, they're gonna wanna hear this. Anyway, we now have shirts, hats, and other cool stuff available. If you like scary stuff, we've got this one here, plus a few other designs that are gonna be coming Different out. Different color options as well, that'll all be linked in the description. They do have some slower and cheaper options as well. The biggest weakness on these cars are the axles. They just bend a little too easily, but if you're not really hard on it, they'll probably be fine for a long time. He likes following cars. The 903A, this is from HBX, brushless, oil-filled shocks, and the Amazon version comes with a different body. My biggest problem with this one is that it just doesn't seem to meet the same quality standards as the rest of the HBX lineup. Still a quality car, just not quite as good. Hey, and if you're watching this video, it's probably because you like RC cars. So do us all a huge favor, Click that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet. I don't think you're gonna regret it. Almost forgot about this guy. I know this does not come with these wheels, these shocks, or that motor. Straight out of the box, this does have oil-filled shocks. It is only a brushed motor. It's around 15 to 17 miles an hour, but it's probably one of the most durable cars HBX has made. I do have some videos on the newer model that does come with a brushless motor. I do think this is a cooler body, but it's called the 2996A. I just haven't found it on Amazon yet. I will also link these tires below. That pile's a lot bigger than the one we started with. <laughs> now it's time for this big guy. This is a Hosum. It's the biggest car on this list. They claim it's an eighth scale. No, as you'd imagine, it's not actually an eighth scale the way we understand it, but it's still the biggest car that Hosum has made yet. Now size comparison, we're kind of talking more like the size of an Arma Granite. The Granite's taller, but that actually adds really heavily to how awesome this handles. Now, I'll be honest, this is probably the funnest car on this entire list. That's a bold statement because all of these are really fun. The problem is it's not the most durable one. But this does come with a good sized brushless motor, an 85 amp ESC, chassis braces, metal drive shaft, center differential. Oh, by the way, this one's got a center differential also. Metal axles, metal differential gears, metal shock towers, really well-tuned oil-filled shocks. So it took jumps real well. Top speed was in the... I want to say we had we were in the low 30s. That's with a 3S battery, which is what it comes with. Now, Hosum, they've had problems with their differential gears. And unfortunately, this one was no different. We did blow out a front differential. It did take a lot of abuse to get to that point. And the center differential actually helps take load off the drivetrain, but we still 
busted out a front diff. I did add some shims in there when I replaced it, so hopefully it's gonna hold up better. When now. it comes to handling though, this one was my favorite. It was really hard to get it to tip over, even though it has a narrow stance. It has aluminum control arms, which I don't like for a basher because they bend. These haven't yet, but they certainly can. It has an aluminum chassis, which as long as the chassis braces that it's got here and here do a good job, that shouldn't bend under any type of normal use. Notice I did say it shouldn't bend, and notice I also said normal use. That term's different for everyone. Oh, this one's getting sketchy. Luckily, there's a wall there. What about this car? What do you like? This one surprised the heck out of me. Front flips and back flips. How fast it goes. How good it does. He jumped over that huge tree out there. Yeah, this one was incredibly fast. We got 35 miles an hour on 2S battery. That's equivalent or so to this one. The buggy is the only one faster than those two. It has a metal chassis brace, which yes, it bent. And trust me, you'll understand why here in just a second if you haven't seen it yet. Brushless motor. The tires aren't the best but they actually performed really well with comes this. Comes with metal knuckles, a much needed wheelie bar. It does come with friction shocks, which kind of blows, but you can get a set of oil-filled shocks for relatively cheap. In fact, I'm about to do an upgrade video on this where we're going to do that. And while they say it's not 3S capable, we did do it and it was awesome. So the best thing about this car is the fact that it's very durable and it performs really well. The best of both worlds right there. And yeah, this exact car actually is not from Amazon. The one I have linked below is the same thing with a different body. In fact, there are actually a couple different color choices. A bigger version of some of these awesome cars would just be so cool. No company has done it yet. Hosem kind of did, but yeah. So. The Arma Granite, the Arma Sinton, the Rival MT-10, and of course, the Arma Creighton, among others, are also on Amazon. But if you're able, support your local hobby shop first.